Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, take a wild guess, we are going to look at Crepe Fine's new palette. Now before, you know, we had this little Chase the Sun trio, which was so nice and I loved it. Pigment was incredible. Well, guess, Crepe Fine's has stepped up their game once again. So this time, the palette we have got is called This Bitch. This was a collab with Jaleesa, who is another ambassador for Crate Finds. Um, she absolutely killed it on this palette. So here's the outside of the packaging. When you flip it up, this palette has got eight colors. The cutest design inside, no mirror, but I will take that because that is so cute. And these are the colors we've got. We've got a brown, a teal, a pink, and a matte gray, almost black color. And then we have got the shimmers to match. And y'all, these colors are so pretty. Here are your swatches. And these are different, you guys. I'm going to show you in these swatches the colors on my fingers and then straight onto my arms. No questions asked. That is your one swap swatches, period. That is how these colors perform. Touching them, swatching them. Done. They are so pretty. So if the swatches are a little uneven, it's because my pinky is really short. But these swatches are so good like look at this but anyways um, if you're not blown away yet, just go ahead and keep watching. I created this look with this palette. Um, this is definitely not the best look I've ever done, but I wanted to combine as many colors as I could, see how they blended out, and they did not disappoint. This pigment is there. It is incredible. And I'm so excited and so excited for Julie because she is incredible, and she really did work so hard on designing this palette and getting it all together. And crate finds are so incredible because they love to collab with smaller influencers. Don't go bombarding their emails, but they love helping smaller influencers grow. It's very important to them. They actually do. Okay. If you're in the crate find squad, they do have a contest going on for a palette collab with them. So if you're not in the crate find squad, I'll link it down below and you can look in the group and there is a contest going on to do a collaboration with crate finds, which is so cool. Definitely entering, be ready for that. But uh, this palette is just so cute and it is so nice and huge. Like these pan sizes are so big. Like if I could find a small eyeshadow, okay. For comparison, here is a 12 pan ColourPop palette beside this 8 pan Crate Finds. Look at the difference in those pan sizes, you guys. Like, these are huge compared to those. How crazy is that? Like, what? You will have shadow forever. You probably would never never have to replace this except you know maybe when it expires but we all know eyeshadow doesn't really expire it's okay so i mean this is huge pan sizes and you get everything basically at wholesale price how crazy is that so this palette is 24 dollars not bad at all if i say so myself i have bought palettes much smaller than this and paid much more for them a lot more and you get so much product in here and there's coupon codes I have a coupon code that by the way I make no money off of I always leave that into the description just because I want to help you guys like this stuff is already crazy affordable their stinking lipsticks are five dollars their eyeliner is five dollars everything else I show you in this video besides this palette is five dollars and I still have a code for 10% off. What? Crazy. So this is what we are mostly covering today, but I'm going to show you a few more new products along the way that y'all should be excited about because I know I am, including uh, everything on my face pretty much. <laughs> Not everything, but a lot. 
So yeah, that is the brand new palette from Crate Finds. There's only one product that I'm not going to mention in this video yet because I want it to be a surprise. I will post a video for that in a couple of days, but this is your first huge thing. It is available on the site right now, but let me tell you, all palettes with Crate Finds are limited edition. Once they are gone, they're gone. Tough stuff. You didn't get it the first go round. You better hope somebody trades it, but I know I wouldn't. <laughs> so yeah, if you want this palette, jump on it right now because you cannot get it later if it sells out, which <laughs> let's be real, it will and soon. So I would go ahead and grab this, snag up whatever you can, this palette, and uh, there might be a couple more on the site. And Chase the Sunset, if there's even any left, is limited edition too. And I'm actually thinking this might be sold out already. Don't hold me to that. But this is a huge palette with tons of product, incredible pigment. Whoa. Okay. So I'm going to stop talking now and just let the tutorial speak for itself. So uh, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take Shady right here, and I'm going to take this on a M518, and I'm just going to go in tapping it off into the crease, and I'm going to use this for a something like a transition shade. I have already put on eyeshadow primer, just my MAC Paint Pot, and I'm just going to take this and fluff it and buff it and blend it all through this crease and even after like tapping it off this pigment is crazy i literally just barely even swirled my brush in the pan and this much came off immediately okay so everybody has been doing like really neutral looks so far that I've seen. Not many people have this palette, but they've been doing really neutral looks with a pop of blue on the bottom. So I'm going to be different, and if this works out horribly, just bear with me. But I'm going to take Slay. This is the teal in the palette. By the way, clock these pan sizes compared to like the end of my brush. They are huge. And we're going to take Slay. And we're going to pick up a pretty generous amount of that and buff it into the crease as well, kind of underneath Shady, and see what kind of pigment we can get going. So we're just going to buff it in here. And once it blends out with that brown color, it is not crazy. It gives off a little more of a green than a blue teal vibe, but still looks so gorgeous. And we're just going to blend that back and forth, bring it down into this outer corner a little bit on the lid just to blend it out and get it all, all the way even. And this gives us almost like, it's almost looking kind of olive green, which will show you that if you mix and match some of these colors in the palette, you can create completely other colors and it comes out really nice like these blend so good so we are going to go ahead and do this other eye off camera okay and to deepen it up y'all I'm so excited about this we're going to take this it's not quite black it's a little more of a dark slate gray but it's pretty close to black and we're going to take this and just buff this into this outer corner like so because y'all know I love deepening up my smoky eyes and adding a little bit of black just to make things super dramatic. That is my absolute favorite thing to do. And this is blending so well and after tapping it off I got like literally the perfect amount of pigment. <clears throat> okay, and because y'all know I like to be different, normally I would take this gold hustler shade but i'm going to take this one instead this is called princess and it is just a pink 
Diamond Pressed Glitter Shadow. I'm going to take it on my finger and I want you to notice how intense this pigment is. That is one swipe in the pan and I'm just going to take it and swap it across my lid to give me a pink to go against this greenish teal color I've got in the crease. And y'all, that was one tap into the pan. Like I did not dip back into the color or anything. Uh, now I'm going to though to build this color up just a little bit because I want it to be super bright. I'm going for a vibrant lid with a smoky crease today. And this is the perfect palette to do that. <clears throat> Okay, and to add another pop of color, we are going to go into Boy Bye right here. <clears throat> Take it on a flat brush and line my lower lash line with it. And it looks, oh my god, so pigmented. Okay, so I just want to get this up close. I'm not going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm only going to put this right there to give me that pop of blue that I want and it is so pretty usually shimmers and glitters don't work well for this but this formula is so good like it's perfect y'all have no idea okay so that is our eye look I want to use the new eyeliners but alas they will not work for this look, unfortunately. But to show you uh, the new colors, Crate Finds came out with two new wing stamp eyeliners. And I've had them on my hand for a couple of hours. They don't smudge, they don't budge, nothing. They're perfect and it's like a red and a purple. So pretty. But what we're gonna do today is take our usual black wing stamp and go ahead and apply that to add to the dramatics okay so <laughs> my wing is not on point today we're just gonna ignore that because you know I got issues <clears throat> but what we have next is perhaps the most exciting and this is a full-fledged first impression of everything in this video Crate Finds has come out with a mascara that is only five dollars I have never tried it. I don't know how it works. Brand new, just got it in the mail today. Here is the wand. It is a curved big wand and we are gonna zoom in while I apply this <clears throat> so that y'all can get the full effect and see how it works. So we are just gonna go in with our first coat Okay, so this is one coat without curling my lashes. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more. Um, from what I can see, it definitely gave me some pretty good length, good volume. The lower lashes look super nice. My eyeshadow is a little dark, so you can't tell too much over here. But this mascara is definitely super, super good. And I mean, honestly, for $5, this is kind of bomb, y'all, not gonna lie. This is a very good mascara. I am loving it. And I'm gonna try another 
coat and that definitely absolutely 100% just did the trick this layers up really nice it's not getting clumpy and this is adding some extra length absolutely love it I don't even think I'm gonna need falsies today because that looks so good I'm excited about that we will have to see if it makes my eyes water but it's vegan organic and cruelty free so I don't think that'll be an issue okay so both eyes are on now and I am definitely really liking this mascara it uh it looks really great it's not clumpy I put two coats on and it did not clump up got some pretty good volume and length from it a plus plus super excited so uh let's see what we want to do next next I want to go ahead and I got another <laughs> y'all know I can't resist some good crepe finds I got another of the liquid highlighters um, this is peonies right here this is what it looks like with their logo and I'm just gonna take a little bit put it on my hand and just to give you a little bit of an idea about how shiny this is when you pull it down it is so stinking pretty it is gorgeous and for all my fair girls that watch me, uh, this is perfect. Like, I'm so fair, and it's still, like you can see here, it still taps in. It doesn't look crazy. It's not too pink. And it is still so blinding. However, my sponge has gone crazy, and it is soaking up my product. But that is not a sponge that I love and it does that sometimes. I'm going to take some directly on my cheeks and I'm going to see a little bit of this dot and put it on my nose and just tap this in all the way across and blend it out and this is so perfect like it looks good on everyone I've seen people with deeper complexions than myself wear this and it still looks good but if you are pale and you're not quite sure about the iridescence in Charming Pearl since it does have a little bit of a bluish purple reflect this is perfect like it is blinding and so gorgeous like absolutely can't get over it I was in love with this color the second I saw this watch it is amazing so the last thing I've got on hand to show y'all well, there's another product, but uh, y'all are going to have to wait for my next video to see it because there is one more palette. But uh, the last thing I've got on hand to show y'all today is the new lipsticks. Now, I've got three colors. I've got Controversy, which is a red, and Nudist Colony, which is super, super light. It's made to ombre your lips and tons of other stuff. But what I have got that I'm wearing today is their regular lipstick and y'all know I'm not a regular lipstick girl but all their formulas are so amazing I couldn't not try so this is called nude selfie this is the packaging look at that shine and when you open it it's like rose gold metal and it is just so pretty but this is the color I got right here We'll get a quick swatch of it right there. This is what it looks like on my hand. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. See if I can get my lips to be the right shape. Y'all know I'm terrible at it, but here we go. Okay, so on me, this has got a little bit of a purple tint, 
it is a super pretty nude color. If you're a little bit deeper than me, it's going to be perfect. But I actually really like this color. I can see myself wearing it super often. This is nice. Um, but yes, that is... Mm, that is almost all of the new releases for this month. We are going to skip out on falsies because I like this mascara and I'm just going to go with it for today. But this is my final look. These colors blend so good. The pigment is so rich. It is there. The pan sizes are huge. Colors complement so well. Like I can't say enough good things about this palette. It is just on point. And I'm so excited to get to try it out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will have another one coming. I know I always flood you with Crate Finds stuff, but it's just so good and so affordable. I can't not flood you with it. Sorry. But uh, we will definitely have another video coming with the other product in a couple of days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, be looking forward to that. We'll have another tutorial up with the other product that I have not yet mentioned. <clears throat> But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are ready for this next video. And I will see you in a couple of days. Bye, you guys.